Hello friends and welcome to Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today's lecture is going to be on reinforcement bars used in RCC work. This can be an important part of your exam and it, come, it can come as a question in your exam. Write a short note on steel reinforcement. So you can take down notes while this lecture is going on and prepare for the question. So first let us see why steel reinforcement is used in RCC work. You know that concrete as a material is good in resisting compression, but it is not good in taking tensile stresses. While a steel is a material which is good in resisting tension as well as compression. Therefore, when we combine both the two materials together, we get a material which is much more versatile, which we call as RCC. So when we combine concrete and steel together, we get RCC. This is a composite material which becomes good in taking compressive as well as tensile stresses. Now, because of this property, we can use RCC as a material for spanning large spans and also as a material for taking vertical or axial loads as in case of columns. So steel is a material which is used in building industry and it has got various forms out of which we are going to learn about steel reinforcement used in RCC which is in the form of steel bars which are also called as rebars. So what you will see is that there are basically two types of reinforcement bars. One is called as mild steel bars and the second are called as the high yield strength deform bars. Now what is the difference between the mild steel bars and the HYSD bars? So as you will see in the photograph, the mild steel has got a smooth surface and it has also got lesser strength than the HYSD bars. Mild steel was used earlier before the development of the HYSD bar as a common material in RCC. But with the advent of the HYSD bars, mild steel is no longer used as the main reinforcement in RCC. On the other hand, in the next photograph, you will see what are called as the HYSD bars. As you can see, the surface of these bars has purposefully been made rough by making ribs on the surface. So this particular type of bar has got this type of a ribbed surface and also the strength of these HYSD bars is much more than the mild steel bars. So now the next question is why is the steel deformed or why does it have the ribs? So for that you must understand that a proper bond should be established between concrete and reinforcement bars. If there is this proper bond is not there then the stresses will not be transferred from the steel to the concrete and vice versa. So due to the bond, the stresses get transferred from one material to other. If concrete does not properly grip the steel, the steel bars will slip in the concrete. So this is why you will see that uh, the ribs are added as in case of the HYSD type of bars. Now why are mild steel bars hooked at the ends? Now it is the same reason as we saw that it is to establish a proper grip between the concrete and the steel. So when mild steel was being used commonly, you would see that uh, because mild steel has got a smooth surface, the bond between the concrete and the steel is weak. And therefore the mild steel was had to be hooked at the ends to form the necessary bond. So as you can see here, this is the mild steel bar and at the end of the bar, a hook was created like this to get the necessary bond between the concrete and the steel. Now how is the high yield strength deformed bars, how they are made? 
So basically these high strength bars are made by two processes. First is called as the uh, cold process and the second is called as the hot process. So in the cold process what is done is that the bars are manufactured or they are given the deformation or given the necessary strength at room temperature while as in case of the hot process the bars are given a treatment when they are red hot. So the first type of bars which we are going to see is the cold twisted deform bars or the CTD bars. So this is the short form for cold twisted deform bars. So they are formed by using the cold process. So what is done is that the steel bars are twisted to form cold twisted deform bars or CTD bars. In this case no heat is used and therefore this can be done at room temperature. Now this technology was developed by a company called as Torsic Tech Steel Corporation which is uh, from Luxembourg. Luxembourg is a country. So that's why these bars have been called as Tor Steel Bars. So Tor Steel is a sort of a brand name which is used by this particular company. It has become synonymous with the cold twisted deform bars. So it is a type of cold twisted deform bars and it has got high yield strength. Now next is what is meant by TMT steel. So TMT stands for thermomechanically treated steel. It is the process by which this thermomechanically treated steel is produced is called as QST or quenching and steel tempering. So in this process what is done is that the hot bar when it comes out from the mill is dipped into cold water at a certain pressure. Because of this what happens is that the outer part of the bar becomes hard and the inner part remains relatively soft. So after this process the bars are left in the open and allowed to cool. This is called as tempering. So the outer part of the bar is hard and the inner part is soft and this is the speciality of the TMT steel which gives it certain better properties than the uh, cold twisted deformed bars which we saw earlier. The outer part of these bars is also resistant to corrosion. So what are the salient features of the TMT bars? So they have higher elongation and ductility. The concept of ductility means that the bars can be bent easily and after they are bent they do not lose their strength or they do not crack. So this is called as ductility, very important property of a material. They are more safe against earthquakes again because of the same reasons that they are ductile and they have got uh, fatigue strength. We call them as a fatigue strength. The next is ribbed design which gives better bond with the concrete. And then last is that these bars or TMT bars are stronger than the regular bars and therefore we we'll see that they have got 20% additional strength than ordinary bars and hence can be used for uh, meaning the structural engineers can actually save in steel by the use of DMT bars. The Indian Standards Organization defines the grades of rebars as follows. So it is defined in IS 1786 of 2008 and the bars are defined as grades from FE 415 to FE 600. The number 415 gives the yield stress, maximum yield stress of the steel bars. Similarly, any number next to FE that is written here gives the maximum yield stress of the steel bar. So let us now see what is meant by yield strength. So yield strength means it is the amount of stress applied 
to a material that will deform it permanently so the same is true with steel that the steel when it is subjected to stress it will deform but when the stress is released it will come back to its original shape now there will be a point where beyond the point if we apply more stress the steel will permanently deform that means it will not come back to its original shape this point or the amount of stress that is applied will be called as the yield strength of the steel so the yield strength is measured in newtons per square millimeter or in megapascals now to give you a comparison of what is the yield strength of different grades of steel you can see that mild steel has got a yield strength of 215 newtons per square millimeter while at the hyhd bars which we saw have yield strengths ranging from 415 to 600 newtons per square millimeter so from this comparison you can understand that the hysd bars are much more stronger than the mild steel bars and therefore they are nowadays preferred for use in the reinforced concrete work there are various companies which manufacture steel in india out of which some of the prominent company names are given here tata tiscon Jindal Steel Works, also called as JSW Steel, Steel Authority of India Limited, called as SAIL, Vaisak, which is an Indian India government uh, organization, Mukundam, JSW Ispat, POSCO, and many more such companies are manufacturing steel in India. I hope you have liked this video, and if you have liked our video, please give us a like. Also share the video with friends. We would like you we'd like to answer your queries, so please write to us at architectsacademy at gmail.com. Also share topics with us on which you would like us to make the videos. Thank you.